This video is going to cover the geometric construction practice work. <clears throat> so there's a PowerPoint that's associated with this on Moodle, and it has the walkthrough. So some of the ones like this tell you which slide to go to in the PowerPoint to kind of a little walkthrough. But I'm going to do it here also. <clears throat> so the first one, let's divide this line into five equal parts. and I don't know where the divide command is on here, so let's just type it. D I V I D E. And we're going to pick this object to divide. And we want it into five parts, so five. You can see it added points at those parts. If you want to know the length of it, we could just pick on the line and go up here into your quick properties. There's the length. If I want to know the length of each, segment, I could just use the distance command, or di for distance, go from there to the node there, and see that's 1.475. I can also divide an arc into six parts, and see that there. Again, pick the arc, go into the quick properties, I can see the radius, I can't see the length of it here though, so if I right click and go to the, the full properties, then I scroll down, now I can see my arc length. Or escape to get out of it. So let's bisect this line. So how do we bisect a line? Well, we draw equal sized circles and then draw a line between them. So I'm going to draw a circle from here, somewhere over here. It just has to be over halfway. So I'm going to go over here. Go again from here. Since I already have that radius set, I can just hit enter to use that same radius. Now I can draw a line, go from there to there. And you can see if I pick that line, it is going through the midpoint. Bisect an angle, same basic thing. We're going to draw a circle from here out. And then I'm going to draw circles from here out. Same size. Now where those two intersect, that's my bisector. So now I want to copy this angle. So how do I do this? Well, kind of the same thing. Circle from here somewhere and I'm going to draw a circle from here the same size. Now I'm going to draw a circle from YZ because I have YZ here so I'm going to pick from YZ here to there. And then again same thing circle center point there to there. Now draw a line from there through that point. Now that angle is the same as that angle. If I wanted to make this line the same length, I could use the lengthen command. So L E N for lengthen. So I say total. So my total length is going to be from y to x and I'm going to pick that line and now that's the same exact angle and length. This is probably the easiest one. Draw an equilateral triangle. So circle, center here, that's my radius, center there, radius, and now just up to the intersection, back down there. That's equilateral. All the sides are equal. So I pick this side, 4.36. Pick that side, 4.36. So on a triangle, that's the base. And one side is 3.75, and the other is 2.5. So circle, 3.75. Again, circle. 
and then a couple lines to connect them. Here we want a square with that same sign, so circle from there to there, from there to there. And then we just draw from here straight up, straight over, straight down. And there's our square. <clears throat> so we want to circumscribe the square. Another way we have to draw a square is the polygon command. So draw polygon, four sides, center, circumscribed, bam. Now for the area of the square, we just pick on it. And then right click, go to properties, and scroll down to see our area. Pentagon, same thing. So Pentagon is what? Five sides, right? Polygon, five sides, center, inscribed, bam, done. So this one, circle, three point, A, B, C. Two point circle, circle, two point, A to B. Remember going to properties to check their circumference, the radius, the area. So here we want a three inch diameter circle tangent to AB. So how, what is tangent? Tangent means it hits only at one point. So it means the center needs to be three inches away. So how can we get three inches away from this line? What about offset? So offset, three, from there to there. Now I can draw a circle, say from the midpoint there, tell it to be three, and there it's tangent. So here we're going from point P, tangent to the circle. So line, start at P, and then remember, shift, right click, tangent. Then we can tell it, do we want it to be tangent on the top or the bottom? We'll go there. Enter. And that's tangent. So here we want a circle that's tangent to both these lines. That's a two and a half inch radius. So again, I'm going to offset 2.5 because that's the radius. From there up and from there over. And I can draw a circle from there to there. Same thing here, so offset 2.25, there to there, there to there, circle, from there, 2.25. If I draw a line from here to the tangent point, this line is perpendicular to that line. Same thing from here, going straight down, that's the tangent point is perpendicular to the line it's intersecting. So same basic thing here, circle, or sorry, offset 2.75, circle 2.75 and still again perpendicular lines there. When we go into doing tangent to a line in an arc, it's the same thing. It's just we have an arc to offset instead of a line. So 2.25, there to there, there to there, circle 2.25. Now, if we go from here to the center of the circle, that's where our tangent point is. Same thing here, offset 
1.5 in up circle 1.5 and again offset 2 there to there there to there circle there two and if we draw our, our lines to the center they're going to go right through the tangent point so now same basic thing again I'll set 1.75 1.75 and there we got that arc <clears throat> if we want to keep just the arc what do we do we use trim so trim pick those take that out take that I can take that out and now I only have that left so that's the end